Mike here with Mike's Megabits, Twitter at Mike's Megabits. I'm here today to do an unboxing of the Ubiquity Network Networks Nano Station M5. I actually picked up two of these M5s to do an install across a valley here. Uh, the client wants to connect his network from his house to his place of business. It's uh, probably about a kilometer, kilometer and a half away from his house. So we'll do the unboxing now. These are designed to connect two places, two distant places. The range on these, from what they say in the documentation, is around 16, 15, 16 kilometers, so quite a distance. They also have other equipment such as discs and, and what have you that can connect even farther. Uh, I've seen some documentation on the web that and some notes on the web that mention people are getting connections a couple hundred kilometers away so pretty powerful stuff after some research I found these uh, these units on the internet ubiquity networks incorporated I, pre I picked up the two antennas uh, one for each side as well as some window and wall mount kits I'll just take all this stuff out of the box here and sort of put it aside so I can show the stuff a little bit better. Let's focus in on this now. This is the window and wall mount. It's, uh, it's designed quite a bit like what you would have in your car. Stick on the windshield for your GPS or satellite radio receiver. Suction cup. In the mount. The antenna would just attach to this and it would go on your window. Pretty basic. So there's the window mount. Nano Station M5. Pretty nice looking unit. Actually I just noticed that. It's kind of funny. The back of the box has the, the, the view of the back of the unit and then the front has the view of the front. Uh, tricky packaging there. Let's crack this box. These units in particular I believe have s pretty powerful stuff. It's pretty small though. Packs quite a punch for the size. Let's get some focus there. The finish is really nice. Quite shiny. These are good for indoor or outside. They're weatherproof. There's a pole mount on the back you can use to mount it to a pole. If you notice up here there's a level indicator so when you plug them in you can aim them simply by moving it side to side or up and down and, and watching the level indication. You'd probably want to get somebody on the phone uh, on each side just to you know tweak it perfectly get the, the best level that you can. I will be installing these at the client's place in the next couple days so I plan on taking some video of the installation as well and I hope to be able to show you that at a later time. The unit works with power over Ethernet so you don't have to run two cables you just run your power into uh, it plugs in there to the wall just like you would with any laptop or what have you. Then the there's a input here for your network so say at his place his home network I'll run a line from his router to to this LAN port then the power comes in and gets injected into the PoE connection and that goes into the into the plug on the on the antenna itself and there's also a secondary plug there to use if you want to maybe use a a network camera and you can access that network camera across here this is like a network bridge so it would be like on your local network even though it's a couple kilometers away this cover just slides back on once you get your network cable put through there. We're going to be mounting these in his window so they should they'll be inside but the temperature range on them is, is is extremely wide. You yeah, I don't think there's anywhere on the planet that these things probably wouldn't be able to handle except maybe Antarctica. Very take very cold temperatures and and quite warm temperatures as well. So that's the Ubiquity Networks Nano Station M5. Uh, of course, like I said, I've got two. You need to have one on each side. 
one for the transmit well they both transmit and receive with each other and I'll show you the video later on of the installation this is Mike Beersted from mikesmegabits.com make sure to catch us on Twitter at Mike's Megabits thanks for watching